often say that the third time's the charm, but Disney seems to have hit a home run with just their second D23 Expo. Held for fans every other year, the D23 Expo is the Mouse House's answer to Comic-Con, where, as the company is so diverse, they were certainly able to put on a show all by themselves. But what started it all was a mouse, and on that note, there was plenty of animation news coming out of the convention. Pixar, clearly one of the company's crown jewels, revealed two new movies as well as details on other projects. First up, Planes, a direct-to-video spin-off of the Cars franchise. John Cryer, who attended the event, will voice Dusty, the brave little crop duster. Now, while Cars 2 ended up not having as much gas in the tank as the rest of Pixar's fleet, it still continues to do strong merchandising business, so the direct-to-video market is indeed a logical next step. Would Planes have made it to theaters if Cars 2 had performed better at the box office? We'll never know, but we do know that John Cryer can't quite catch a break. Next, Pixar announced two new films in development. The first, for 2013, is currently being called Untitled Pixar Movie About Dinosaurs, and will tell the story of a world where dinosaurs didn't die and thus kept on evolving right alongside us humans. Now, Disney's first prehistoric romp didn't fare too well at the box office, and Pixar will face some strong competition that very same year from 20th Century Fox, as it releases Walking with Dinosaurs, the first movie from the popular BBC franchise. That CGI live-action hybrid is currently slated for a Christmas release, but expected to perhaps move to the summer in light of this Pixar announcement. The other film Pixar is developing for 2014 is currently being called Untitled Pixar Movie That You See Inside the Brain, directed by Up's Pete Docter. The film promises to explain how we forget things and why songs get stuck in our heads. Whether or not it will be educational, comedic, or both remains to be seen, but let the Inception comparisons begin. Not to be outdone, Disney Animation flexed its own muscles at the convention, showcasing two hot new properties. First up, we got more details on Wreck-It Ralph, Disney's video game answer to Toy Story, or the comparison Disney prefers, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Taking place in a video game arcade, John C. Reilly's Wreck-It Ralph is the villain of an 8-bit Donkey Kong-style video game who sets out to become a hero instead. On his quest, he interacts with video game characters from past and present, from a Halo-esque sergeant voiced by Jane Lynch to a kid's candy-themed race car driver voiced by Sarah Silverman. Last but not least, fans were also treated to a sneak peek of Frankenweenie, where Tim Burton's cult hit short film finally gets the full-on motion picture treatment. Hitting theaters for Halloween 2012, will this stop-motion black-and-white film be the next Nightmare Before Christmas? While most parents are against poking dead animals with a stick, hopefully reanimating their corpses is okay? However, footage shown at the expo hints that other children in the neighborhood will also have hammer horror-style pets, such as werewolf hamsters, which could go over big with kids. And that's the latest news from Disney Pixar Animation. While they were able to keep a tight lid on the images and footage revealed at the D23 Expo, expect them to either leak or be revealed in the coming weeks or months. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.